Um, I am. I ran some errands, but I decided to start vlogging now. I am going into Aldi and I'm gonna just get a couple of quick things. I haven't been to Aldi's in a long, long time. And what prompted me to come was watching someone else's vlog that they were doing a challenge of buying meals for a week for ten dollars. I'm not doing that challenge because I don't got time. But maybe I'll do something similar like that somewhere else. I don't know. But anyways, um, let me get my cart and head in. Got a lot of different things. My phone is about to die, so I'm gonna go check out and head home. I feel like I'm getting like interesting, but um, if I do find anything that I think is worthy of sharing, then maybe I'll do a little haul. That was awkward. <laughs> so today is Wednesday morning and we are on the road already. It's probably, it's like a little bit after nine. Um, yeah, it's awkward because I was just sitting at the light and Kyron is on his iPad doing his work and I just happened to like glance over because the car next to me well, before I got on the highway, we were at the light, right before we got on the highway. The car next to me keeps like inching up. So I'm like, oh, it was weird. So I just happened to look over and it was this older man that looked at me and just smiled big. So I'm just like, hey, and, like I was so awkward about it and it just felt weird. But can any of you relate to this awkward things like that happen to you when you're in traffic or just driving? I feel like shit like that happens all the time. Anywho. So, Kyron and I are on our way to Philly. We, it, long story, I need to go and get a clothing rack. The clothing rack that I have, I've had it for a couple years. It's plastic, I, it's like a hard plastic. I bought it from, I think, Walmart, and it's just not happening. The more shit I had on, it started leaning, and I just need to get a new one. So, we are going to Ikea. It was a very last minute thing. They have a very affordable one there, so hopefully it doesn't start leaning like the other one. But I'm gonna go get that, and while we're at it, um, we are gonna stop at Century 21 because my friend Stephanie told me that they're closing. The stores are closing, you can't purchase online. I have never been to a Century 21, so I'm one of those people that, yes, I have to go check it out before it closes because I wanna know what it's about. Last time I was in New York, I wanted to go, but it didn't happen. I was with my grandmother and then it just, we didn't get, make it there. Hmm. So, I'm gonna go check that out. I think we have to go to two. We're gonna have to go to two Ikeas because one of them, I'm also gonna, I'm hoping if the whole vet mirror fits in my car, I'm gonna get the whole vet mirror also. And Kyron a dresser. So once I thought about, okay, I'm gonna get the rack, what else can I get while I'm there? Kai and I made it to Ikea. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I haven't been to Ikea in a while. I don't know when the last time was. Probably been, I don't know, it's been like a year and a half, almost two years. But yes, I'm so excited. Kyron isn't really, but I am. <laughs> All right, so we are going into the self-service area and we'll get one of the flatbeds in here somewhere. Look at the hangers. Yeah, but it, these aren't the kind I use. Get a red, can you grab a regular cart? And then I'll get a flat bed. Oh my gosh, I love Ikea. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I'm gonna get a plant while I'm here too. Oh, look at, they have colorful bags. These are cute. And they're 99 cents. I'm gonna get one just because it's cute. Why am I like this? Why? So I'm not gonna really look around too much for, um, not, when I'm at the pots and pans. Let's come over here, Kai. Um, because I wanna get to the mirrors because they, they didn't say that they had many left. I mean, it said that they didn't have many left. So I wanna get to those bags. This is pretty. It's a serving dish. It's gonna be nice for the holidays. I think it's 
Um, I'm gonna skip through like the shopping part of it because I want to hurry up and try, try to get the whole bet. So we are going to the self serve. Kyron's acting crazy. <sighs> I hope they have it. It only had two left online. I really, really need them to have it because I've been wanting it for a long time. And I'm finally ready to buy it. Well, it took a little while to find it, but I finally did. So for some reason, aisle 61 is like in the middle of one and three. Doesn't make sense. But yeah, this is the one that I want. I don't know if it's gonna be sturdy enough for my stuff, but it's only $13, so we'll try it out. Yeah, they're right here. No, that says, yeah, right there. Right here it is. So I came back to the plant area and these little pots are so cute. And I love that they have this to give you ideas to put your pants on. It's like little displays, carts. Oh my gosh, I don't know what plant I'm gonna get because I did come here with intentions of getting a plant. These are so pretty. I are headed to the checkout so these are a couple things so I decided to go with a little money tree that way I can see a girl I don't have space for a big one right now and the little bag that I saw at the front as I'm going to check out they have the big ones so this is a big one and then these are the little ones and these are the they have the little ones and I feel like this too I never saw them this little this is so cute but yeah, uh, oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna get one of these from like my laundry stuff and I'll leave the small rainbow one. But yeah, we're headed to check out now. And then we're gonna actually go to the other Ikea that's in this area because they do not have the bed frame for Kyron that I wanted. I'm trying to know, I'm trying to know. I have the bed that I wanted. So, I mean, that I didn't have the dresser that I wanted for Kyron here. So we're gonna check out the other one. I'm going to check out, but I have to turn this sideways <laughs> because the mirror doesn't show it. Ah, oh, this better fit in my car good. Like Kyron over there, I can like you know, need to help. We're on our expedition to Philly. We came to Century 21, which I've never been to. <sighs> I got me a hat. My friend told me that they had nice hats. <sighs> I was hoping I could find black, but I'm not really seeing too much here. This is kind of like a Burlington type of store, Ross, but just a lot bigger and a lot more stuff. Oh my God, look at these. They're so cute. You got me chopped all the way. Up. No wonder y'all going out of business. Say, let me stop. These prices, are right, so there's like a Burlington, but the prices are ridiculously high. I don't know why, but they are. So you want to have high prices and still only accept cash at the time? Hmm. So we're going. It doesn't work. I <laughs> know. The ghetto. <laughs> so we're walking out. This is a little bag. I just got one hat. I actually found the hat I was looking for. The one that my friend told me about. It was upstairs. So I got that. But it was eleven ninety seven for a Yankee Dad hat. So that's what I got. But we up out of here because the prices are way too hot. So we're on our way back to the car. We only got the hat. Well, I already said that. We're on our way back to the car. It is hot. 
We're making our way downtown. <laughs> <All right. Our second IKEA location so this is the one that's actually like a little bit closer to our house um, but we came in here to get the dresser for Kyron that they have in stock which they didn't have at the other one so I'm not planning on looking around too much just because I have to get back home soon Kyron has a haircut appointment later so we have to be in a little bit of a rush which is kind of good because then that means that I get to I'm not spending as much because I'll be tripping sometimes I've never taken my time to actually go to the showroom, but I'm gonna come one day just just to go to the showroom. Take my time and uh smell in the pool. So sad. Oh, these are the dishes I have at home. I really like these. Oh, this, oh no, how much is this? Yeah, these are the, those are the ones that are like $30. But I do like their pots and pans, they're good. But she, I like to get the cheaper one. I wonder how much this one is. Mm, 40. We have, these and I have a big one too. Hmm. I think I have different ones. Stop, let me through. Hi. You see what he tortures me. <laughs> there you have IKEA. It's just so cute. Ugh. I can't wait to own a home and customize the shit out of it. It's a double sink. <laughs> I just love the bathroom. Oh, these are cute. That's cool. I like the table I was looking at earlier at the other one. Don't even mom. Christmas stuff out in this one. I, well, I did see some Christmas stuff in the other one, but not as much. Oh, I wish I had time to look through it. First of all, I need to figure out what I had for Christmas last year because I'll be forgetting. There goes the kid again, having himself some good old fun. At least he's enjoying himself a little bit. I'm not gonna get too mad. I found a rug for him. This rug was only $30. There was another one that was $30, but it was way smaller. So this one it is, baby. And then, what is this? Well, I found a lamp. I'm debating on whether I'm gonna get that lamp for him or not, because I was planning on going to Walmart. I was 16. I was gonna go to Walmart and get him a lamp and I think it's like 11 something and this one's $14.99, so we'll see. This one might last longer though because it's a little sturdier. This is 16 right here. All right, we're checking out. We got two boxes and they are heavy, like super heavy. <sighs> Let's get to it. Do I live long here? The other one, there weren't, there wasn't anybody there, and that's the one in Philly. I was surprised. But time to check out. Kyron wants some donuts, and I want some cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Watch where you're going. Now our second time <laughs> exiting. Uh, we gotta go this way. So Kyron got his dresses, we got our stuff, and we got some hot dogs. Go down there. They came with chips and a drink. So it's gonna be our lunch on the go. 
All right, so as you guys can tell, at this point, my video is super blurry. It did not focus, and I didn't realize it until later on. So there'll be a clip where it becomes a little clearer. But anyways, this is the Riga clothes rack that I was so hyped about getting. As soon as I came home and I got my stuff in, I started building it. I got it built that same night. And I did have some difficulties with it. I'm not going to lie. It was a little... I don't know, something was going on with the poles that I had it the wrong way. And when I was trying to adjust it, it just wasn't working with me. So I eventually got it figured out, which is a great thing. But you guys will be able to see a little bit of my struggle here. <laughs> because I was getting frustrated and I didn't want it to keep going. I finally figured it out. Okay, so the first problem, I have two problems. First, it's like these like little circle things, they were like off, they weren't centered. So what I had to do was loosen the screw up top um, on both of these so that I can go ahead and get these like poles centered because when I screw the top, it's like it tightened this pole. So that was my first problem and I figured that out and I loosened it so I was trying to adjust it and in the middle of me adjusting it this side over here this button it wasn't oh no, the button it wasn't poking out so I'm like what the heck like I'm over here thinking I'm gonna have to go back to Ikea and all this what I figured out is that the button has two sides so I, I didn't think about it at first so if I push it in and I twist the bar it's the back of it. And I was just thinking that it was stuck. So I was like, kept pushing this in there. I was pushing my scissors in there. And something told me, just try to rotate the pole. So when I rotated the pole, that's when it popped out. So let me get back to, <laughs> that was just a whole hot mess. All right, so now I have to screw. I have them where I want it. I'm gonna screw these back in. I loosened the screws at the bottom as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those up. Um, and then I'm gonna put my clothes on my rack. So this is the final look. Um, so this here is my old one. So compared to my old one, it is bigger. I think I got this one from Walmart. I don't know, I've had it for a couple of years. I put it at about the same height. Um, I think this one, the black one might be a little bit taller. I don't know, they're about the same, but um, it's, it is wider though. So I have like more stuff that I was able to store down there. I, this is just the stuff that I had piling up on this black rack. So this is not like my final look of it. I have to get some stuff in my closet, get my self organized, get some cute outfits out here just for display. So this is like an extra like a rack of clothing just for me to have on display in my room. Cause I have a regular closet behind it and have a, a small walk-in closet and they're pretty packed. So I need to, declutter those spaces but yeah i needed a clothing rack because my other one was tipping over because it was getting heavy so you can see i have bags there i need to unpack and i have stuff all over the place but for now i want it to be like the true test like i wanted to i want to give it a few days and see if it's going to start tilting over i'm hoping it doesn't because it's metal and i do try to like i did try to balance it out so that all the weight isn't on one side so we shall see how that goes. Um, now I have to set up Kyron's dresser, which I'm gonna do tomorrow. And I might do, he has a lamp, so we might work on that tonight. I'm not sure yet. But I got my whole bed mirror. I got it in today. So you see my old one is in the background. I'm gonna put it on Facebook Market and try to get rid of that. My room is just so cluttered. I've just like gathered so much stuff throughout the years that I've been living here, but I just um, took the plastic off of it earlier and uh, like the cardboard that they had on the side. So I have to clean it now, but I cannot wait to take pictures and <laughs> I was going to say in this, on it, with it. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm super, super excited about that. Um, we are on a little excursion to get ice cream. Say hi. Hello. Yeah, we're going to eat in the back. This is my favorite ice cream spot. You're going to hear Nina talking in the back because she's vlogging too. Say hi. Say hi, guys. <laughs> so unfortunately we can't go inside we have to place our order at a little window here but at least they have all the flavors and the menu out here here's the flavors in here all right great